Okay, so Aloha Christian, could you introduce yourself to us and tell us your name, where you come from, and where you live now? Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Um, how about I mix it up and practice a little bit of my Hawaiian? Oh, Christian Jardina Ko'iunoa. Uh, no moku loa nuioka maiau. Noho au ma punahoa moku o keave. So my name is Christian Jardina. I'm from the Long Island of New York and I currently live on the island of Keave or Hawaii Island. Mahalo. And what is your vai mauna and or ahupua'a where you live, which you've kind of mentioned, or where you connect to the most? Yeah, so the vai that I connect to um, the most is vai uli, um, which is also known as Richardson's Beach um, in Keokaha. And the mauna that I connect with the most is the one um, behind me, um, Mauna Kea. And um, have been working on Mauna Kea on all different projects for 22 years now. You mentioned that you're working on projects. So what's your job title at the moment and where do you work? Yeah, my job title is research ecologist. I, uh, I work at the Institute of Pacific Islands Forestry, which is part of the USDA Forest Service in Hilo. And I have projects uh, at low elevations um, on Mauna Kea at the Hawaii Experimental Tropical Forest, um, which also runs to higher elevations. And uh, I do restoration work, climate change work, um, drought uh, um, response work and decision support tool work. And so during all this work, what are some of your main roles and responsibilities and what does an average day look like for you? Yeah, well, uh, I guess lately my work has been mostly project administration. So uh, handling paperwork, writing grant proposals, filling out annual reports. But occasionally I get into the field to help with measuring trees, um, identifying new research plots, um, getting into the field with kids um, via the teaching change program um, and uh, writing papers, publishing papers about the work. So that's, that's kind of the average day. I'll have all of that mixed in. What's a research program or a research question that you're most excited about right now that you're working on? I think the most exciting research question I'm working on right now is how can the amazing data sets that we've been collecting on Hawaii Island, how can those data sets be made more available to resource stewards and how can resource stewardship planning more effectively integrate um, communities, uh, departments like the forest service that I work for, nonprofits like the Nature Conservancy and can we all work together to design some really cool ways to deal with the problems that are facing, that are uh, challenging um, Hawaii Island. And so that's a really important issue. And so as a researcher, you get to kind of see the problem and approach it in any kind of way you want and collaborating with people that you can, but it's you, you feel you have a lot of freedom. It's your job to kind of find solutions to these problems. Yeah, um, that's pretty a lot cool. of freedom. Yeah, uh, it's a great job. Um, I have um, fantastic relationships with a great group of collaborators uh, in communities, with other agencies, with nonprofits, um, yeah, with university. Yeah, so you get to build really fun, productive, 
um, relationships and answer really cool questions. I just think it's so amazing that there is a field and a career choice that allows you to creatively answer problems that we all find in the natural world and ask those questions and be able to solve them um, in the way that we find best. And that's, you know, part of being a scientist, which I think a lot of people don't know that that career path is accessible to them. Um, so what made you interested in the yeah. career that you've chosen? I think, yeah, I think the reason why I, I got into the career that I did was because so many people that I met early on were very passionate about the work that they did. Um, uh, now, I, you know, 25 or almost 30 years after I started, you know, every day um, that passion uh, just reinforces the idea I made, I made a good decision. And, you know, in the last, um, last five years, a lot of what I do is mentor young um, up and coming professionals, find ways to create positions for them. And it's just super exciting um, to hear, uh, you know, this next generation of high school, college, graduate student um, professionals thinking about the environment and how to, how to help the environment. And it's just great to be able to, to be in a mentorship role with them. Absolutely. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your academic pathway and what kind of degree or degrees you pursued to get to where you are today? Yeah, uh, it was complicated. Um, my, my undergraduate degree was in biochemistry and I um, actually did a lot of work in molecular genetics in the early days and decided that I was less interested in things like environmental toxicology and more interested in the environment. And so I studied um, uh, uh, trees, basically. Um, but before I got into that, I spent a bunch of time doing inner city social uh, justice work. And I actually got a degree at the Eilig School of Theology in Social Justice Studies. And um, as part of that degree, I studied natural resources stewardship in um, Eastern Nicaragua, um, where I spent uh, six weeks um, visiting with natural resources stewardship uh, professionals, uh, community-based um, uh, practitioners and, um, and agency uh, leaders um, learning about resource stewardship in Eastern Nicaragua. And that really motivated me to come back and get more schooling. Um, and so I, I got a degree in forestry and a PhD in biology. Um, to really understand soils and trees and canopies and become a scientist. You've mentioned that you're kind of helping younger students and young professionals um, as they go along their path. Were there any types of professional development experiences that helped you get where you are, such as internships or summer programs or research programs? Um, and if so, what were the skills that you gained there that you felt were really important for the rest of your career? Yeah, I was really lucky in that I had um, really excellent mentors who cared about my professional development. And I would say um, really good coursework in, in understanding how ecosystems work. Um, really patient uh, mentoring on writing. Writing is such an important skill. Um, and um, I'd say getting to travel to lots of different sites to see um, and learn about research from across 
a lot of different ecosystems from northern Alaska to Puerto Rico to Nicaragua, Costa Rica, um, uh, Guatemala to, to here in Hawaii. And so I'd say those are probably the, the big experiences that, that I think prepared me and that young professionals should be thinking about. Thank you. And so our very last question for today is, what advice would you give to your middle school self? Oh boy, let's see. Um, I would say uh, keep spending every moment you can outside and uh, enjoy um, forests and streams and creeks and the ocean because that is hugely important to um, having a connection with the places where you work. Um, I would say uh, uh, um, spend more time with uh, teachers who have interesting things to say and pursue uh, talking with students and um, your friends about things that um, you're learning about. Um, it's okay to be a geek. And uh, yeah, um, keep exploring. Mahalo, Christian. <laughs> All right.